Welcome on Drumbler's YouTube channel. This is the multi rotor basic series part 5 multi rotor frames. Within this video, we're going to review the different frame types and the available orientations you could have. The first frame will be the tricopter, which has almost all three motors, and its shape is a Y shape or a T shape, as you can see on the screen. The two motors facing to the front. And there is a rear motor which is somehow a little bit special because it is sitting on a servo which can be tilted left and right and by that movement the jaw is provided. Uh, it loses a thrust, it loses less thrust actually when the jaw movement is done by the servo movement against the quadcopter because the quadcopter just uh, creating this jaw movement by slowing down the uh, motors. Tricopter is not as stable as quadcopter and it has a limited uh, weightlifting capability because of its only three motors on it. No any motor failure redundancy it has as if one motor will fail it will just uh, fall down. Next frame is the quadcopter. Quadcopter is the most popular frame you can see. It has four arms and on each arm one motor is sitting so almost all it has four motors as well two motors rotating clockwise and two motors rotating counterclockwise this is because to have a really stable flight by this two available configuration there are one is the X shape and the other is the plus shape I will explain that later this frame, this platform is capable for aerial video and photography and also for racing so you will find that in many cases. When you have six motors on the frame it is called the hexacopter. The logic is the same, you have counterclockwise and clockwise motors, three for each. Two available configuration also, the X and the plus, we will cover that later. When you have six motors you will have more stability and straightforward it means that you will have more weight lift capability as well than for example a quadcopter or in case of a tricopter. Because you have six motors you will have a single motor failure redundancy so if one motor will fail you will be able to fly and uh, fly down actually. As you have more motors it means more consumption you need m larger battery um, you may will have a shorter flight time and as you need more ESCs electronic speed controllers, motors, propellers it will cost more for you. When you have almost all eight motors sitting on the eight arms it means octocopter. Really the same or really similar than the hexacopter however it will have more stability and more weight lifting by the more motors as well. And somehow when you will have two motors filled you will be able to also fly down with that. So its motor redundancy is higher than any other. The same as in case of hexacopter that it will cost most for you by the uh, increased number of parts. And let me show you some special types of multi rotors. This is the Y4, which has four motors. It's really similar to the tricopter, but it has two motors at the rear arm underneath each other, which means that there is no any servo which provides the jaw movement. It has a better weightlifting capability than the tricopter. It's not so popular. The next special type is the Y6 which has six motors as you can see. It is same as Tricopter, it is same as Y4 but not really the same as it has six motors as I mentioned and it has only uh, three arms so one motor is face on the same arm, one motor is facing up and the other is facing down and one is counterclockwise and the other is clockwise. It is really stable and it has the same weightlifting capability as a hexacopter. We can see on the picture this is the V-tail which has four motors almost all. Similar than the quadcopter from the front perspective but from rear perspective the motors are tilted and fixed so not sitting on a servo. It is really rare, I don't think it's so effective. 
This is the Octo X8, which has eight motors. It's somehow when you mirror the quadcopter. So two motors per arm, one is facing up and the other is facing down, and one is counterclockwise and the other is uh, clockwise. Pretty nice weightlifting capabilities, but more consumption by the more motors. Let me show you the configuration types or shapes you can have. The first would be the X configuration. This is the most popular you can find. This is used because between the two arms you can put the camera if you are doing aerial video for photography or uh, FPV flying. You can see the shapes or frames on the picture which this configuration is valid for. The next would be the plus configuration and as you can see it is a plus shape, kind of an airplane it flies, mainly used for acrobatic flying. I think the X configuration is uh, more popular. Please subscribe, feel free to share these videos and do not forget to raise your questions or comments. Thank you for watching.